Okay, I gotta bring my panel back in. Seth Waxman, Elise Jordan, and Tim O'Brien. Elise, to you first. The White House has been saying for over a week, look at us, look at us moving forward on prison reform. This is Jared, uh, this is Jared Kushner's sort of shining moment, bipartisanship, this is extraordinary. And the person the president pardons is an alt-right personality. Are you kidding me? Well, I was actually heartened yesterday that Donald Trump mentioned Senate scene reform in a tweet about his meeting with Kim Kardashian. That's progress. That's something that Huge. Jeff Sessions is hugely opposed to. And so I thought, well, maybe Kim Kardashian is the way that we're going to get criminal justice reform. That's the kind of celebrity <laughs> that Donald Trump respects. And then now, instead of pardoning a 63-year-old great-grandmother who's already served 21 years, years for a non-violent drug offense, you get Dinesh D'Souza, who broke the law. He did campaign straw donations, and he broke the law. And he is not, he didn't even go to prison. He hasn't even suffered that great of consequences for breaking the law. So this just really, to me, speaks only to Donald Trump wanting to show and demonstrate that he's happy to exercise his power of the pardon. All right, and we have to make it clear, Alice Johnson also broke the law. She was involved in, in a drug ring, um, but she has served over 20 years in prison. Seth, what's your take here on uh, sort of the president obviously has the right to pardon, but uh, he's um, definitely choosing uh, one side. You know, for, first we see Joe Arpaio and now Dinesh D'Souza. Yeah, Stephanie, I mean, could this be any more transparent? I mean, his fixer for 10 years is alleged to be involved in passing campaign contributions from others through to his campaign in the context of Stormy Daniels or passing Russian funds through. And then it kind of out of nowhere, Mr. Trump pardons D'Souza, who was accused of doing just that. I mean, I can't see this as anything other than trying to send a message to Michael Cohen and anyone else that may have information against Mr. Trump that could be damaging to Mr. Ooh. Trump to say, I will take care of you in the future just stand by me this is president trump saying i love you michael stick with me uh this could be the president sending signals to the myriad personalities who all have something to say about him that could com complicate his life with law enforcement officials absolutely it's also an indicator of just how quickly this president will trivialize policy issues in uh, the favor of doing, uh, giving perks to his friends or pandering to celebrity. It's disturbing on both fronts. All right, well, but then let's just put into context, because those down the middle who've supported President Trump, who have said, I'm not a hardcore Trumper, but, the but this guy is beholden to no one. He is pragmatic. He will, he will find his way to the middle. Prison reform is one of those issues that Jared Kushner thought would be that path. Just paint this picture for us, Elise, that not even 24 hours ago, Kim Kardashian was there to help the president do just that. Well, given Donald Trump's impulsivity, he's influenced by the last person who's in the room with him. And I doubt that Kim Kardashian West influenced Dinesh D'Souza's pardon. He certainly didn't, he didn't achieve the one for, uh, you know, the 63-year-old Memphis grandmother. And he is only going to continue down this path of pursuing politically motivated pardons that he sees as beneficial to him. Again, this isn't about prison reform sentencing reform. This is just about Donald Trump. And and he and he's catering to a, a a member of a commentariat that's important to Trump. The alt right. The alt right. And and and, and more mainstream conservative uh, commentators, Laura Ingram and Coulter. They're also important personalities to him. I said this yesterday. I think that Webster's dictionary needs to redefine the definition of what conservative is. Uh, Seth, before we go quickly on this, for those who are feeling this shred of light that prison reform could be something, could be an issue the president takes up, we know Jared did, we saw the bill go through the House last week, does the president's move today take them further away from feeling hopeful on prison reform? Well, I think his conduct today in issuing this pardon kind of speaks to where his mind is. He will do anything in the moment that kind of suits his own purposes. So him taking a meeting last night with Kim Kardashian, whether that's a publicity stunt or truly prison reform, you know, I have serious doubts as to that. So, you know, the idea that, you know, a very complicated um, system of criminal justice that has, by all accounts, treated the, many people unfairly can kind of be t swooped up in, a, in, a, in, a, in an interview or meeting with Kim Kardashian and solved in a in a of a pen seems to me to be dubious. Maybe there's a reason she didn't crack a smile on that picture. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much. We're going to leave it there.